Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. As you can see by the title, I have this really simple, kind of like soft glam makeup look for Valentine's Day. I am so excited. I love Valentine's Day. I just love, I don't know, I work in an after school program, so all of my kids give me like uh, chocolates and like little cards and they tell me you know how much they love my program and everything and I just I love Valentine's Day and I love everybody being like super like nice to each other I work with kids like I said so then that doesn't happen very often <laughs> so yeah I'm like really excited for it um and I come up with this look very simple I have kind of like big lashes that's just like the way that I like doing my makeup but the main thing is having like really red lips I love red lips and I just think they're really like feminine so that that's what I wanted to do for today. Very easy, but like cute makeup look. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this super soft glam, then just keep on watching. I already moisturized my face and I'm going to start with, I picked up this rose water prep and refresh hydrating mist by Milani. And I saw it at Walmart and I was like, oh, it said that it was a new product and I got my nails done. I'm like in love with them. Um, they're a little bit too long for me. I've already kind of like poked myself a couple times. It's really annoying. <laughs> I just want to get used to having nails again. And I'm going to get them a little shorter uh, next time that I get them done next week. Because they're a little bit too long. And I'm a little clumsy. So... Well, the mist, it looks like a good mist, so. That did feel really nice. Um, I feel like the mist, or the mister, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's a little bit strong, to my liking. I had to get a coffee this morning, because I really... <laughs> I mean, I did wake up a little bit earlier than I usually do, before morning, like before my morning shift at work. I was like, oh. I woke up a little bit morning. Like I have time to go get a coffee. I'm gonna prep with my e.l.f. putty um, primer. And I haven't been using my milk primer lately. Just because um, it's, you know, winter and my skin hasn't been that oily. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Just like always. And, um... I do have a new product that I want to kind of like, um, you know how I do my soap brows if you guys haven't watched that, I'll link it up there, up here, I, haven't, I think it's up here, um, for my like brow routine, but I did pick up one thing that I saw a girl on TikTok use, and I was like, oh, I want to try that, her eyebrows looked amazing, um, so I'm going to try it today and see how I like it, um, that a little bit, and I have been trying to grow out my um eyebrows just like on top so i'm not grooming my brows kind of like the edges i'm like staying away from that um just because i do want to kind of like reshape them a little bit and i'm really excited for valentine's if you guys are not celebrating like valentine's or you're celebrating like galentine's i don't think i've ever celebrated um like galentine's or like gone out with my friends my girlfriends <laughs> i am gonna go out with my husband for valentine's and we're gonna go to benihana we have a reservation because um i decided to make a reservation because i didn't I, that's the one place i usually go for like but if we have like birthdays and that's like our go-to to like celebrate like special occasions and it's one of my favorite restaurants it's so the food is delicious I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, um, like cream contouring. I have been loving doing com cream contouring before actually going with powder. And I'm gonna use my Fenty um, Match Stick in the shade Truffle. It's like the perfect shade for contouring. And I've been loving this brush by Real Techniques. This is a sculpting brush. I bought it a long time ago. I don't know if it's still available. I'll link it down below if I can find it. But I feel like it's the perfect angle to like go underneath your cheekbones and just apply that product and i'm just stapling the product i'm not like rubbing because i don't want to like move that foundation around i'm gonna be wearing a really cute shirt like red shirt with like white polka dots and it looks so feminine i just i it, i usually don't dress like super feminine with like those types of shirts i really want to 
and that one I found it at TJ Maxx and I think it was like $10 or something and I do want to dress up like that because I, I don't know it looks so like feminine it's so cute so I do want to dress up like that um more often elf cameo concealer did you guys ever watch the um to all the boys I've loved movie on Netflix because the new one comes out the 12th and I really want to watch it the only thing is like they're coming out with a new love interest and I was like wait but why couldn't they just leave like a happy <laughs> ending I get extremely invested in movies TV shows like extremely invested we watched the lady and the tramp last weekend and tell me why I was crying so much with that movie I was like really like I mean I love dogs I'm gonna use my setting powder or setting powder my studio fix um, powder foundation from Mac I literally need to buy a new one because I just I have a little bit left what are your plans for Valentine's or if you guys do anything for like Valentine's do you guys go out like party or like have a dinner like what do you guys usually do I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit and I'm gonna take my um, dark mineralized skin finish natural and before I contour I just want to bring a little bit of color to my face and I'm gonna now contour I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna do like a little combo here I'm gonna take my hula benefit bronzer and I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, contour uh, pan thingy from Anastasia and in the shade fan fawn actually and I'm just gonna contour my cheeks a little bit and then for highlight I'm actually gonna be taking this is a MAC highlight highlighter and this is in the shade whisper of guilt and I was at Ulta the other day and as you guys know, I've been running really low of my Anastasia and Ambrizi highlighter. And this is one of my favorite highlights ever. But it literally just hit pan. And I just, it's my favorite highlight ever. So they're kind of similar, as you guys can see. I feel like the MAC one is a little bit more gold than the Anastasia one. But I feel like they're really, they're, like they're similar. So I'm gonna, you know, Take care of my baby here and <laughs> not use it as much so i'm gonna take the whisper of guilt by mac and highlight my face but this is like really blinding as well as you guys can see i did my uh eyebrows for the word um off camera and i'm gonna keep trying that product that i was telling you guys about and i forgot to put some blush completely forgot so i'm gonna take my um, this is the Milani baked brush brush baked blush in the shade luminoso it's so pretty it has a little bit um, of a sheen to it so I usually do my blush before my highlight but I completely forgot to put blush I'm gonna be using a couple of the new makeup geek eyeshadows which I'm excited I've tried them a couple times before um, I have the original like makeup geek shadows from like years and years ago i did pick up a couple when she rebranded so we're gonna be using those today i'm gonna be taking this shade right here it is called had me at yellow and it is a really nice um kind of like soft yellowy brown and i'm gonna take it on a morphe m506 and i'm just gonna be working this on my crease i should have Obviously, I need to zoom you guys in. What am I doing? Okay. And I'm just using very light circular motions to blend this. I've been into watching vlogs a lot lately. Obviously, I still watch my like beauty videos here and there. But I've been into vlogs a lot lately. They're just so like nice to like just watch and relax with like a cup of coffee yeah i really want to start uh doing more vlogs so what type of vlogs would you guys like to see you guys can comment down below please as well as any other um uh, like video recommendations that you guys would like to watch 
from me. And then I'm going to, to deepen my crease a little bit, I'm going to be taking the color Tiki Hut, which I was so excited when she brought this one back. And it's more of a yellow, a little bit more yellow and um, kind of caramelly color. And I'm going to be taking that and I'm going to be taking it on a more fluffy brush. This is an M, the M441. And I'm going to be taking this and applying it all over my crease on top of that first shade that we used just to deepen up our crease a little bit and I'm gonna go in with that first shade and a Morphe M506 and start blending my edges right here and I'm just using very light pressure and circular motion and now I'm going to be taking a angled brush and I'm going to be taking this deeper brown this is in the shade Deja Brew <laughs> I love the, the like um, name shades and this is a darker brown and I'm gonna be doing a smoked out liner with this so in our brush angled brush I'm gonna start in making a just as if we're doing a eyeliner And now I'm going to be taking that same Morphe M506 and just a little bit of that, ooh, there's a hair on my lash, just a little bit of that dark brown that we were just using for the liner. I'm going to be just smoking that liner upwards. And then with that same pencil, I'm going to grab that Tiki Hat Mustard shade and bringing it down on our lower lash line. I struggled with the eyelashes so much. So... For uh, lips, I'm going to take my Red Velvet Lime Crime Lipstick. I personally don't use a lip liner. You can definitely use a uh, lip liner. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!